I don't know if you've noticed this new trend in restaurants where they're naming the bathrooms something other than men and women. They're naming them like blokes and sheilas or pirates and wenches, which I guess they think is kind of cute or funny or kitschy and sets them apart from the other bathrooms, but it's a bathroom, okay? I think it's kind of important to just label it properly. I'm not trying to like solve a riddle here. I just need to go to the bathroom, especially since I've been to restaurants where the labels were completely unclear as to whether it was for men or women. They'll say something like carpetbaggers and Yankees. Okay, am I a carpetbagger or am I a Yankee? I don't even know what that means, so should I just stand here and wait to potentially pee my pants to see if a woman comes out of carpetbaggers? Oh, carpetbaggers, of course, that's women. I'll go into Yankees, please, thank you. I've even been to ones where it's not even labeled with a word, it's labeled with a picture. So there'll be like a skeleton and then a skeleton with a hat on. Um. I don't really know about the gender roles of skeletons, but I'm not sure that they're delineated specifically by whether or not they're wearing a hat. Uh, and what about foreign people? I mean, even if you don't speak the language, I'm sure you know what men and, and women are in English. I don't speak Spanish, but I know senor and senorita. But these slang terms, how do you expect them to know that? So I'm sure that the Outpack Steakhouse manager is constantly getting complaints that there's an old Japanese man taking a dump in the ladies room. This is Bloop TV. It's an auto playlist of weirdo comedy. To get the show started, just click the link at the top of this video's description and the show will start. The weirdo comedy lean back will begin. So just Let's do that now. Just click the link and uh, start the Bloop TV.